Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to import multiple images in SQL Server using SSIS. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how can we import multiple images from a folder to a SQL Server table using SSIS. So let's jump to the demo. In my D files location I got three JPG images and if I open this particular file so this is one of the file and this is another file and this is the third image so I want to import all these three images into a SQL server table okay so we can use the where binary data type to store the images data inside the SQL server table so in my SQL server 2019 instance into the test database I created a table images table here and it contains three columns the first column is the ID which is of type integer and it's of identity so we it doesn't need any input from our side its value will be incremented automatically and the second column is the image data which will actually hold the image and the data type is where binary max and the third column is the image name so we will also store the image name inside the SQL server table so that in case if you want to re-export the image so that we can re-export it as well okay so right now the images table is empty so we need to convert the image from the jpg to the where binary format so that we can store it inside a sql server table so this is the query that can be used to convert the image from the jpg to the where binary format so the images are situated inside the d files location so if you pass the image name to this particular query then it will convert the image to the where binary format so if i execute this particular query then you can see that this is the where binary data for the image okay so using the SSIS package we can import all the images those are situated inside a particular folder into the SQL server table okay so this is my blank SSIS package that I will be using today and I need to declare two variables here the file path and the file name okay file path will be used to just store the full file path of the image and the file name SSIS variable will be used to store the name of the file so let me create a new variable here and I will call the variable as file path and the data type will be a string here and I need to give an initial value the initial file path value here so I can just provide this value here okay now the second variable I will call is the file name and the data type will be a string and uh, in the file name it will automatically get the name of the file from the file path so I have written some code here that I can simply copy from here and I can paste it inside the expression now if I click on evaluate expression so this will get the file name from the file path so I can click on ok so as soon as the file path value will change the file name value will also get changed so we are done with declaring the two SSIS variables here now I can close the variables pane and now because we want to import multiple images to the SQL server table so to loop through multiple images we can use the for each loop container so I can just drag and drop the for each loop container into the control flow window and then I can configure the for each loop container here from the collection I need to select the for each loop file enumerator and uh, I need to define the location from which location we want to read the files so our images are situated inside D files location so I will select this location here and I can click on OK and now I want to import the JPG images to I, so I can write star dot JPG and I can go to the variable mapping now from the variables I can select the file path SSIS variable so what will happen uh, the full file path will be assigned to the file path SSIS variable when the for each loop iteration will run so I can click on OK now inside the for each loop container I can use a data flow task and the data flow task can be used to import the image into a SQL server table so now we can just configure the data flow task and uh, in the data flow task we can use the OLEDB source so I can just drag and drop the OLEDB source here and yet there is one important thing because we need to execute this query so uh, we need to declare a SQL query SSIS variable so first of all let me just simply copy this particular query from here and go back to the SSIS package now let me go back to the control flow and let me open the variables pane and let me create a new SQL query variable so I can write SQL query here 
and the data type will be a string here and I can go to the expressions I can maximize this now put a double quote paste the query that you copied and the double quote now what we need to do we need to assign this particular path from an SSI variable file path so I can put double quote plus plus double quote and then I can just drag and drop the file path SSI variable here and I will share this code with you so that you can use it in your environment as well now I can click on evaluate expression so this is working fine now I can click on ok so that's fine I can go back to the data flow task and I can right click and configure the OLEDB source I need to make an OLEDB connection here so I can click on new we already have a connection to the test database so I can select this connection click ok from data access mode I will select SQL command from variable and from the variable name we can select the SQL query SSIS variable so this will hold the actual query and this will convert the image into the where binary format now I can go to the column so this will uh, return a value as bulk column and if you want to give the output column name some different value like image data so you can copy the name from here and maybe you can provide the name here so now I can click on ok now what I want to do uh, I want to create a new column inside the data flow so I can use the right column transformation here so I can just drag and drop the right column transformation into the data flow task and then I can connect the OLEDB source with the right column transformation I can configure the right column transformation here and I can just drag and drop the file name SSI variable into the expression and uh, I can just type cast it to the worker so I can write dt underscore str comma 100 comma 1252 1252 is the code page for the worker and now I can call this particular new column as file name ok so a new column file name has been created in the data flow now I can click on ok now we want to insert this data the image data into the SQL server table so I can just drag and drop the OLEDB destination here and I can connect the dry column transformation with the OLEDB destination and I can configure the OLEDB destination here from the name of the table or view we can select the table name and our table name is the images so I can select the images from here now I can click on mappings now we can make sure that all input columns have been mapped with the destination columns the ID column is of type identity so it doesn't need any input so we can leave it as it is and for the image name we need to select the file name drive column from here so all the columns have been mapped here now I can click on ok so our SSI package is ready to be run and it should import the data for all the available images like for all the three images into the SQL server table so right now if you see the images table is empty ok so let me try to run the SSI package from here so the process ran fine and it should have inserted all the three images into the SQL server table so I can go back to the SSMS and I can execute this query select a star from images and you can see that the three images have been inserted to the SQL server table these are the names of the images and this is the actual data in the where binary format and this is the identity value ok so the data has been inserted into the SQL server table and in the next video I will show you how you can export the data back to a directory using the SSIS ok so I will share the link of that video in the description of this video so that you can just check the video and you should be able to export the images data from the where binary format into the file system so I will share all the code that is used here I will share all the three images uh, the create table statement and as well as the queries that we used here like all these queries so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much